Here's, here's a theorem from the book. And um, you got to be careful with this theorem. You cannot flip it the other way. And this is something that students try to do on the test. Is um, they will say, they'll, I'm, I'm going to say this, but it's not true. Look, if n approaches infinity of a sub n equals 0, then the series is convergent. That's what students try to say. That is not true. And if you've taken a logic class, that's called the converse. So the converse is not true. Um, I think it's the converse. Or is it the inverse? I don't but It's one of those two. Okay. So um, be careful with this theorem. You cannot change the if part with the then part. You cannot change the if part with the then part. And I know in a logic class, I think this, the antecedent and the consequent, you cannot change them. So I, last week I gave you this little example. If I live in Baton Rouge, then I live in Louisiana. Is that true? Can I flip it? If I live in Louisiana, then I live in Baton Rouge? No. Not going to work. So it's the same with this. You know, if I say if I say I live in Louisiana, I might or might not live in Baton Rouge. And if I say the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n equals zero, the series might or might not converge. You just can't say. Now there is one thing you can say about it, though. The contrapositive is going to be true. Now, what's the contrapositive? <coughs> if this does not happen, then this does not happen. Here's, here it is with the Baton Rouge, Louisiana. If I do not live in Louisiana, then I do not live in Baton Rouge. So I can do the contrapositive, and I have a true statement. And in fact, the contrapositive is called the test for divergence. So I'll write that next. The test for divergence is this. If the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n does not exist, Or, maybe that limit does exist, and it does not equal zero. Or if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n does not equal zero, then we can say for sure that the series the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of a sub n is divergent. Now the test for divergence only <laughs> tells you if something diverges. I'm going to say that again because most likely next week we're going to read some things as we're grading papers that don't quite fit. The test for divergence only tells you if a series diverges. Every, every semester, students will write 
on the test you take, they'll write, the series converges by the test for divergence. That's not true. Okay. It does not show convergence. If this holds, it just tells you if it diverges. If it, see, now if this does go to zero, you're trying to say, use something that's not valid. 